In this video, we're going to be taking a look at 8 hidden features in iOS 18 that Apple didn't mention at the WWDC event. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. The first thing we have here is this button animation. So it's like a bezel animation. So whenever you click any of the buttons on your iPhone, whether it's the action button, the volume button, or the power button, the bezel is going to have this nice little animation where it just pushes in and pushes out. So you can see right now, it seems like the bezel just pops in and pops out, which is a nice little animation that we're getting in iOS 18. It's rather small, but I found it to be pretty cool. Next in iOS 18, we're also getting a nice little flashlight update. So now you'll have the option to customize the brightness with this nice little animation. I'm not sure if this is customized the width of the flashlight or just the brightness so you can get between different levels of brightness but it has this nice little ui for it in the dynamic island and you can just wipe up or down to make it brighter or less brighter apparently it adjusts the width as well but i'm not too sure about that and i believe this is only available on the iphone 15 models so this is going to be available in ios 18. apple introduced a new way of customizing your home screen in ios 18 but one thing they didn't mention is once you do customize your app icons you have the option to select the size of the app icons and when you choose large it automatically hides all the app labels and widget labels so if you want to have a cleaner look on your ios home screen you can select the larger app icons and get rid of all the app labels and widget labels to have a nice simple look on your home screen next in ios 18 in the calendar application apple is introducing three different options for your monthly view so if i go into the calendar and i just go into my monthly view which i do use the calendar a lot for a lot of things scheduling events scheduling work and everything like that there's going to be three different options compact stacked or details compact is what we're kind of almost used to with the red dots or any of the dots that you have whenever you have an event planned i personally like the stack because everything is color coordinated and i know which each color is going to be you also have the option for details so you can see what the actual event is or what the calendar appointments are going to be like and it's just a nice little way of interacting with the calendar on ios 18 and i really like the simple look that we're getting in the calendar app apple also made a whole bunch of changes into the control center making it fully customizable but a hidden feature inside the control center is on the top right hand corner you now get a power icon so you can power off your device directly from the control center instead of having to go into the settings application going into general and scrolling all the way down to restart your device this is a lot faster way of having to power off your device directly from the control center next is something i can't really show you right now because i have 95 percent charge on my iphone but whenever you're iPhone is dead and you have no power left instead of just showing you the low battery and your iPhone is findable using find my network it's also going to give you the time in the top left hand corner as you would see it on your home screen and lock screen so that's a new little addition that's coming to iOS 18 so whenever your device is completely drained it's no longer just going to give you the battery and the find my icon it's also going to show you the time next in the settings application we're getting some new headers in certain settings options so if you go into cellular you're going to get a little blurb on what the cellular is about and what you can do inside the cellular settings you also have it available for bluetooth wi-fi and certain other options as well it's not available in all of the settings headers but is available for some of the most useful ones that most people will be interacting with so if you're using an iphone for the first time this will be really helpful in indicating what those settings pages are for and you can get a little bit more understanding of what's going to be happening in those certain options we're also getting a new redesigned icloud interface so when you go into your profile and you go into icloud there's going to be a new subscription edition and it's going to give you a new user interface for how your iCloud is being used which looks a lot cleaner in my opinion and it just looks a lot more simple so those are some little changes coming to settings and the iCloud in iOS 18. And finally in iOS 18 we have the option to customize the lock screen toggles to anything that we would want that's available in the control center can be used for those little toggles on your lock screen on the left and right so you no longer just have to have the flashlight and camera although I found it to be still the most useful options you can customize this to different options so if you want to turn on bluetooth if you want to turn on dark mode if you want to go into timer or a whole bunch of other options that are available you can customize this for different different controls based on what you're going to be using it for and it's also going to be very useful in the focus modes because I can see this being very beneficial when you have certain focus modes on for example if you're at work you might have this customized to something different like opening up an email or something of this sort because flashlight and camera might not be the most useful options in a work focus mode but this is going to give you a bunch of customization based on different focus modes that you can use and if you're not using focus modes you can just have it set up to the most two used options and now you have full control of that in ios 18 and that's about it for this video if you guys want to see more videos on ios 18 make sure to hit that subscribe button like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace